Welcome to our new set for uh, Three Men in a Blog, the first Minister's <laughs> of Questions Review. Hope you're impressed. We are. <laughs> well, you are. Yeah, you well, are. Okay. Well, well, sorry. Well, we can discuss that. After this, we're going to record a little um, item which we can call Phil's Rant. So, um, why me? It's, we'd miss it. We don't have a rant for you. Okay. So my guests today are um, Phil Attridge, Rob Munn, Norrie Stewart and myself, Stuart Lockett. Um, today, as usual, we'll be a focus on the performances, seen as um, that just makes it a bit more fun, shall I say, instead of being too dry. Um, I think I'll start with uh, Mr Stewart here, who's always a good value for money when it comes to rating the people. Shall we start with Jamal Lamont? Oh. Same old. I'm, I'm getting bored saying it. She, she was a little more statesman-like, stateswoman-like, statesperson-like. It's, but it's this continual personalising it, all about Salmond. Uh, she hit on the EU fracas, which um, anybody that's into it knows that the full quotes weren't handed out. Um, Salmond answered with his usual, I'm not giving you the, uh, the legal advice because I'm not allowed to, due to the ministerial code. Then, through the fill-up that come October next year, when the white paper's produced, everything will be in line with the legal advice they've had. I'd kind of like to know what the legal advice was as well. Mate. I think we all would, yeah. But, uh... but I thought yeah, she nothing. Be... Nothing. It's still too personal. Just take it away. So you don't. You wouldn't. You didn't think she was looking slightly more confident. I think she looked like she had slippers on under the table. Oh, well, we'll come to that. The house coat in a minute, I think. Um, Rob, what did you think about the well, I, I, performance by Joanne Lemon? Similar to Nori, I think it was. Uh, you know, it was kind of the, more of the, of the same from her. Um, she appeared at times to be reading from a script. Oh, uh, she does that. She was sticking to you know, personal attacks and as much as she uses the term assertion to have a go at uh, the First Minister, um, her delivery is assertion as well, it's just counter-assertion and I don't think she landed any punches on the First Minister at all today. The thing is, uh, I don't she, she, she has to because she's got a, a compliant print press in Scotland that will just print her sound bites anyway really, isn't it? And even the broadcast, uh, even the broadcasters will do that, won't they? We yeah, can, we well, can. To, to, some extent, uh, to some extent, but also, you have to say, you know, she went on, on Europe, which maybe the, the obvious thing to go on because of all the, the, who said what, who clarified what that's been going on this week, but uh, it didn't bring any more clarity either to the Scottish Government's position or to, to uh, why she's going on that. I mean, because, you know, I saw the front of the Express today, you know, Salmon's uh, EU policy in tatters or something like that, um, coming from newspapers that want to take the UK out of Europe. Uh, so wh where are Labour going with this? You know, it's saying Scotland won't be a member of the, the EU. Are they pro-Europe or are they against Europe? Good question. Well, what did you think about it? Joanne, your friend's performance? It was you that mentioned Housecoat. <laughs> and it's you that's mentioned it again, but I haven't. Um... <laughs> <laughs> you were wriggling out of that quote, are you? <sighs> Well, it was just an observation. Um, but, yeah, again, same old, same old. And it says, for us are the font of all knowledge. I mean, Rob will know as an elected member, elected members like MSPs think they run everything. It's officials, it's bureaucrats actually running. They're the ones that know. They're the ones where you go to get right reports, to get all the legal advice. And it's selective quotes that you're getting from Barossa. And you can, well, the quotes that I actually noticed were the ones that came from Barossa via Alec Salmon. And so the EU is going to keep in basket cases like Greece and everything else. And it's going to throw out Scotland with huge amounts of oil, uh, with huge amounts of um, renewable wind power and everything else. And actually, if, if somebody has a look at it, right, have a look at Norway. Norway's not in the EU. It doesn't need to be in the EU. It has about the same amount of oil as Scotland does, and it's doing very well. So, so it really doesn't scary. matter either way, does it? It doesn't matter either way. Right. And England, England is in the same boat. And what does England have once you take Scotland out of its uh, out of its GDP? Uh, gas. Yeah. And what kind of well, if you, if you have same a look gas. at it, if you if, if you go to um, these different rating agencies and everything else, and they go, 
what, you don't have all that oil anymore? You don't, oh, well, we're downgrading you. So it's all smoke, mirrors, and lies, I suppose. Okay, well, Scaremongering, same yeah. crap. I, th I actually thought jo Joanne had a, a slightly better... Um, yeah, she was a bit better today, yes. ...performance this week. Um, possibly because in, in, in the headlines have been very anti the Scottish Government in the last few, dip for quite a few days. <coughs> and it, it simply, it's a, there's a background to whatever position and whatever confidence Joanne Lamont seems to stand up with, depending on what the press has, has been saying. I, I, I was surprised she went down the EU route. I mm. thought, because her whole thing's been jobs, 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 you know. Yeah, there was a jobs family. issue she could have brought up. And she had the, a great opportunity, although Simon had the answer if he, you know, at his fingertips. But she was inconsistent. I think that's kind of what got me. She had the opportunity to quote the stats back at Simon, and she didn't take it. Mm. I think tactically that was a mistake. She should have brought it. Is, is it her husband? Is, what does he do? He's quite... Him. A leading light in Labour as well, isn't he? Or am I getting that wrong? Why are we looking at you, Phil? Who? <laughs> Joanne Lamont's husband, isn't he a leading light in Labour Party as well? Okay, well, we'll just pass over that one. Let's move on to Ruth then. Nori, what do you think? How did Ruth get on today? I wasn't impressed with her today. Um, it was parochial. I mean, obviously, there's been some sort of mess with the, the new IT down in Ayrshire, but it was too parochial. Um, she avoided really, the, the issue of the referendum. Now, that's interesting for me, because she should be the one that is pushing that side of it. I mean, that's conservative, conservative, conservative. I, I agree. I think she's wrong to pick on anything that Sammy can simply turn around and say, well, look at England. Mm -hmm. Every time she, they pick on something like that, look at England, look at England. But, there are, I mean, as I understand it, they've already, they're already investigating what's going wrong, and she's asking for an investigation. She, she wasn't as good as she has been. I mean, what I like about her is she, when she gets up, poses a question, she's got the answer. Yeah, well, she knows. Not this week. Something happened this week. It's scaremongering again. That's, that's all, all right, it is. Until what's they are investigating. They always do investigate. They're always on top of it. It's particularly if Sturgeon's been anywhere near anything. And the minute she'll get a, a sniff of anything, she's right in there to rectify it, to do it right. That's why she's going to change, apparently she's going to change her surname to Bevin. It's rank hypocrisy. Yeah, but should Ruth change it? Change, change, hypocrisy. Change, I think it's a little unfortunate having a Davidson in her name, given that there's an Ian Davidson really doing Scotland no, no favours well, at all. I don't think she's doing Scotland any favours at all. And when she turns around and says, and don't go south of the border, or to use a Clintonism, that's what it's all about, stupid. It's independence. And when you look at south of the border, where she says, they now committed, it's gone through Parliament. The government is no longer committed. The English Parliament, as you could call it, or the UK Parliament, well, it is on, on, on what they deal with with the health service, it's, it's no longer committed to, to supply a national health service by the government. That's why it's all going to go out to so American companies you... um, and why about third, at least 30% of their budget will go to bureaucracy and into people's pockets. They've so, lost it. So why do you think she takes that risk and, and goes on the, the went on the health service? Because they really, well, sorry, the Tories. Okay. Or she's too busy to think of a better question. What, what question can she ask? Yeah. You're There's no the... question she can ask no. on the economy or anything. She can't go into benefits. She can't talk about food parcels. She can't do any of that because Salmon can lay it straight at the UK government's door. That goes on and on. Rob, what did you think of Ruth? Yeah, well, as usual, I like her delivery. She gets up and mm. gets stuck in, but she didn't pick the right question this week. And I think it looks uh, it looked weak. That and, and Alec had the obvious answer. You know that uh, I mean, it's it's the thing when when Alec goes on question time that gets a huge rounds of applause mm. right across England is when he defends the NHS yes, and uh, points out the deficiencies in, in England and what they are losing. So what do you guys think about the possibility of, did she, she pick, you see Rob saying she picked the wrong question, we're all saying she picked the wrong question, but you're saying that she can't, there's no question she can't pick. It's, it, it's very, very hard for her. I mean, the Liberals and, and the Conservatives in Scotland have, you know, I mean, basically, they're, they're stuck in a big tub of cement. They can't oh, I like that one. They can't move. Yeah. Mm. You know, they're, they're they're hidebound by what's happening down south, which is why, really, the question should have been put the other way. She should have had the Lamont, the Lamont question. 
She should have had the EU question because she could have quite simply said, oh, are you agreeing with vast members of the Conservative Party? Da, 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 da. Mm. You know, mm. what's your position? Well, look, what mm. about, uh, let's go, we, I think we're all to get onto, yeah. onto Willie and the chuntering issue. I mean, the, the <coughs> planning officer um, told the backbenchers to stop chuntering. Great Scots word. And Alex Salmon came back with um, Willie Rennie, gets the gold medal for chuntering, which obviously went well. What do you think of Willie Rennie's performance, Rob? Well, really, what was the point? Um, he basically followed up Joanne Lannan with, a, with a, an even weaker version of that question, uh, which was easily batted off by Alec. Um, I didn't really see the, the point. It's, it was almost like he didn't expect to be called, so he hadn't thought about what he was going to go on. It was almost as if, you, you know, over the last few days, you could be thinking, First Minister's questions, this EU question will come up, but by the time we get to today and all we've got is second-hand quotes, uh, yeah, it, it was almost like playing into Alex's hands. But, but, I mean, Willie Rennie's question gave Alex the, oh. the reason. Mm -hmm. Sorry, my hands are tied. All right, the whole... It would be against the ministerial code if I published that. Do you think there's any hypocrisy in that, Rob? You know, but coming across with, well, I've got to, you, you know, we. On the one hand, the Scottish government claims to be open, transparent, and yet, as the accusation is that they're using taxpayers' money to, to go to the courts to defend against revealing what the legal advice is on, on Europe, there's no, you don't see any problem there? Well, you take Alex's position as, as he puts it? I think, I don't know, kind of widen out a bit, that this whole thing is obsession with um, knowing everything which we, is the culture we're kind of in now, right. you know, because of freedom of information, which is a good uh, thing. But there is this obsession, I think, some elements just to find out absolutely everything. Um, and that does cause problems for for governments, for, for, for local authorities. I mean, it's experience in the, local the, local the city of Edinburgh Council when, you know, FOI after FOI came in pursuing something for, you know, at base, legitimate reasons. However, the council is in a position, or the government's in a position, where to reveal everything they know can can damage either their position politically, but maybe have bigger repercussions uh, to, in economic ways, um, whatever. So it, it's it's difficult, but it's the way you know everybody wants complete transparency. But if you have complete transparency, I, I'm not really sure well, that you're going to get very mm -hmm. many. Difficult there is an issue on that, that when we went to that FOI meeting and this mm -hmm. Irish fella, Gav, Gavin's blog.ie, um, he's forced FOI into such a transparent mm -hmm. position in Ireland that the local authorities are, they're all publishing everything now mm -hmm. because it make, it's easier than having to, yeah. all the cost of having to do an uh, answer in FOI. Mm. Will they write? Sorry, performance. Willie Rennie performs. <laughs> Willie Rennie. <laughs> Willie yeah. Rennie. It was Willie Rennie. Actually, um, I mean, his delivery, I mean, he, he got up and it was, I thought, quite good because he got up and sort of sighed. He kind of went, <laughs> here I am again and you're not going to answer the question, which I thought was quite effective. Um, I'll, I'll give Willie a five. The question opened the door for Alex's excuse. So it was the wrong question. Legal advice, yeah. I'll give him five. All right, well, so do you want to score the others? Give them, and we'll go, yeah. Ruth gets a three this week. All right. Um, because it, it wasn't a parliamentary question. It, it was, she had better options. It there. would have been a constituency question. Yeah. A general a general question. But she's, she's leader of the Tories. It yeah. should have been a bigger issue. And um, Joanne? Joanne. Well, I have a real problem with her. Um, four. I just, she needs to get away from this personal attack. She would be so much more respected if she could step it up a bit. But Simon again, in a league of his own. Having said that, Simon, as usual, can always turn to Westminster. Mm -hmm. So his job is, in a lot of ways, easier. Yeah. Any score for him, or is he just sort of in his day? He's in a different league. I'll give him... Actually, he did perform well today. New haircut, as Phil said earlier. That's what it was. I knew they did a different look. So Couldn't have lost the stone so quick. It seems to work the other way, but then... Uh, 
to Samson, the more Henry loses, the, the more angry. powerful his rhetoric. Um, I'll, I'll give him a 9, okay. I won't give him a 10. Oh, very a good. Rob, scores for the three other opposition leaders? Well, I'm including Alan. Yeah, uh, well, I wasn't impressed with, uh, with uh, Ruth Davidson today uh, at all. I, mean, I agree with Nori, it was the wrong question to go on. It's mm. the kind of question that really possibly should have come from one of our backbenchers. Uh, later on, and, and he should have gone for something, something bigger. So I think for that error of judgment, I'm, a, I'm on a three as well on that one. Um, Joanne Lamont, uh, I think she has got the ability to perform better, but she doesn't. And um, so again, I, I, I think you know, she at least picked a question which was a big question and something that you know there is some traction um, later on. So for that, um, will you any well, why is he there? <laughs> you won't get a question next week, you only get yeah. two out of the three. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Alec? Alec, well, uh, sometimes I either tune into First Minister's questions or watch it, and I, I expect to see him maybe just be out, outscored by the other side, but it's, it's never happened, and I don't think it's going to happen. So uh, I'm on a nine. You're kind of exploring yeah. Yeah. Alex in, a, in his own league week mm. after week, yeah? yeah. Mm. Phil, what about scores this week? Start of the bomb, Willie Rennie. Well, he looks, acts and talks like an extinct species. So uh, extinct, well, you're not there, are you? She doesn't get a point. Um, Ruth Davis, I'll stick with a three. She can do the delivery, but it's, it's hypocritical garbage. She leaves herself really open all the time to that, we'll have a look at your lot. She's really stuck in there, there's nothing much she can do about it. Joanne, at least she didn't give any jokes or sound bites really. This, she actually stuck to kind of an argument and stuck. But, That's true. But not a good subject, I mean, kind of, uh, yeah, I just thought it was rather pathetic. But as she didn't give any jokes or sound bites, I'll actually give her a five. Ooh. Salmon, well he can always be better, but he's at a real advantage in that the others are that garbage. So he always looks really, really good. And actually what I would like to see when I see this, when I notice how the slight deficiencies in Alex Salmon is when Nicola Sturgeon is standing in, who does it without the jokies and without everything else and just um, does it like the conceitly <laughs> you know. I'd give him, I'll, I'll give him nine anyway. Yeah, I thought he was um, relaxed this week. Yeah, good. Wasn't, um, he was prepared, he was on his brief. He, he, it's as if he knew. They discussed presumably with his advisor before he comes in what what the question is going to be, what you're going to answer them, and they obviously decided well, nothing's going to you know, nothing serious this week. And he looked confident from the start through to the finish. Um, Joanne, I thought I agree with you. Perhaps it was, it was the fact that she didn't just give us kind of a sound bite a minute. It made it slightly better than usual. Mm -hmm. Um, so this, sorry, Salmon, I'll give him an eight on his own league. Um, I would only give Joanne a four. Ruth, two. Oh, give it a two. Ruth, really, the wrong question. Everybody, we're all agreed on that. And Willie? Why fall? I think the, what, the sigh. I think Phil, they're not his bench, you know, the sigh. Well, that's what happens as you, as you expire, mm. become extinct. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, thank you very much for uh, your opinions this week.